Well, will we get a health care deal by the end of the year? We're joined now by Republican Congressman Tom Price of Georgia. Uh, so I guess August is out. Everybody is saying that the earliest any kind of bill would pass would be before, just before the end of the year. Do you think there will be something by then? And on what will you compromise? What are some of the compromisable issues? Well, I sure hope that we'll have something by the end of the year, and I think that always was the president's timetable. Uh, the speaker and others were trying to jam this uh, by the end of the month here, uh, but I think the end of the year is a responsible timetable. What we hope happens between now and that time is that we're able to sit down together in a constructive and positive way and come up with a solution that meets the needs of the American people, that's patient-centered, not government-centered, not insurance-centered, but patient-centered. And there's so many wonderful opportunities out there to embrace that would result in that positive type of plan uh, that I hope we're able to get there as a Congress. Representative, to hear you say that is, is certainly nice because we hear a lot of Republicans who are saying, no way, no how, we don't like it no matter what. They're definitely against Obama's plan, but give us some specific Republican ideas for health care reform. And of course, it certainly matters to us that you yourself are a physician, so we like that perspective. But tell us what some real concrete ideas coming from your side would be. Absolutely. We, what we believe strongly is that we ought to keep what's good in our system and fix what's, what's ailing, where, where the problems are. And the problems are the costs. The costs are going up. About that. They're also concerned that if they lose their job or they change jobs, they can't take their insurance with them. Now, there are relatively simple ways to fix those things by increasing portability, by making it so that everybody can afford health insurance through a system of tax deductions and tax credits. So you make it make certain that it's uh, not just financially feasible and attractive, but that, that it's foolish for anybody not to be insured. And then to make it so that patients and families own and control their health insurance policy or their, their health coverage. What that does is make it so that insurance companies have to be responsive to them, which would indeed be a novel thing. Congressman, is the notion of the creation of a government-controlled and operated and funded health care insurance company dead? Oh, I sure hope so, because I think that's what concerns the American people. They know that if the government runs something, it never, and it, to, quote, compete, it never runs it fairly. It always skews the system. It's, a, it, it's an unfair competitor. And so they understand and appreciate, as many studies have shown, that if the government-run option is available, then, in fact, what that will be is a government takeover of our health care system, sending okay. tens of millions, if not over 100 million okay. individuals, from their personal and their private health insurance to the government, uh, government program. Right. Nobody wants Tom that Price, because that uh, puts that bureaucrat between patients and doctors. Thank you so much. The, uh, the discussion continues. We'll have you back. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate it.